Hello and welcome to another video of Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro. In this particular video, I'm going to explain you the HDR dodge and color burn function of Silky Peaks. This is a very interesting tool or bunch of group of tools. I have seen in many forums are people asking questions about these particular tools and what they do, why there are too many of them. In Silky Peaks Developer, you have many, many ways to control your exposure. You have a normal exposure or luminance slider. Obviously, you can go back and forth uh, just like any other traditional way. If you are using a Studio Pro version, you also have individual shadow and highlight controls. You also have here, excuse me, not this one. You have highlight controllers where you can control your chroma saturation and luminance restoration. I'll get to that later. And finally, you have a set of six different control right there. Now, this get really confusing. Ideally, you want to make sure that you take photograph um, well exposed in camera so that you don't really need to uh, play around and waste too much time understanding what they do. But if you are like me where you have a situation with a really dark foreground and really bright background and you had no choice and you had no time to take a few photographs to make a HDR so that you can post process in future and make sure everything is balanced then this, these tools can come in handy. Right now, I have this photograph. Uh, I was on the top of the mountain in uh, Lucerne, Mount Pilatus. And I didn't have time to take few photographs at the same time so that I can make a HDR in future. So I had time to take one photo. And this is what I did. And guess what? I have a dark foreground and a very bright sun. What can I do? And how can I use Silky Peaks? To recover all the details. The photo is not really bad as it is but I like to have a bit more well balanced. I like to recover my shadow and if you like me and you have the shadow and highlight control I would use the shadow and highlight control and then move on and maybe a little bit of exposure. But let's try with one at a time. The dodge and color burn if I do that and move the slider all the way to the 50 look what it did. Also, while I'm changing the sliders, pay good attention to our histogram and see what it does. As you can tell, it tried to recover some highlight and tried to recover some shadow. So dodge and color burn where you recover your shadow and you recover your highlights as well. Now let's go with the dodge. What dodge does, let's go back and pull it back up, it only affected shadow. It did not touch at all or the highlight areas. Let's give it a, another go. We go back, look this section, pay attention to the first half and the last half. We go back up, as you can tell, it recovers some quite decent amount of shadow. If you are happy with it, only thing you have to do is to make sure that your highlights are down so that it's not clipping which I don't think is possible because sun is the most strongest source of light here. We get to it a little bit later. So we established that dodge and burn recover shadow and highlight. Dodge, recover shadow. And now color burn, what it does, you go back completely all the way back, pay attention to the histogram, put the slider up to the 50%. It tried to recover some highlight. Pay another attention around the sun right there now we go back down have a good look pull it back up no change in the shadow area significant change around the sun you have established your sun now you can add some shadow and you have pretty decent and well balanced photograph right there now so i'm going to repeat the same thing over again for the sake of understanding dodge and color burn like HDR, recover shadow and highlight. Dodge, recover shadow. Color burn, recover highlights. We go back 
where it was. Don't touch anything. Now we go to the HDR. So what they do? What is the difference with HDR and Dodge and Color Burn? With HDR, we go to 50. It did almost exactly the same as Dodge and Color Burn. However, at the rate of 50, HDR is a lot more strong than Dodge and Color Burn. Let's have a look. You go to 50, as you can tell, not very big difference, but not very aggressive either. Very subtle. Where HDR at 50, it did recover a lot more shadow and recovered a lot more highlights at the same time. So we established that Dodge and Color Burn and HDR, they're both same. HDR, bit more strong, right? We go back, we try Dodge HDR now. Go to 50, it added shadow. I'm going to let my photograph render a little bit. Pay attention to the histogram. Go back, back to 50, you see the shadow is being recovered quite a little bit and did a very good job. I'm pleasantly surprised. Now we compare that with the dodge as it is. See, not much of a difference. Slight change into the green area, but there is no significant difference between those two. Now, we established dodge HDR recovers shadow. Just like dodge itself, they both do the same job does not give you the same result there is always a minor difference between those two and those differences will vary photograph to photograph so you have to do a little bit of trial and error now color burn hdr what this does i'm going to go back to zero let my photo render pay good attention to the histogram color burn we are going to the 50 have a good look around the sun as you can tell I'm going to go back to the zero histogram, going to 50. Take a look at the histogram. Take a look around the sun. It tried to recover a good amount of highlights from the sun area. But obviously, it's not always easy when, you're, when your camera facing the sun directly. It actually gives you a very dramatic effect. The, but make sure don't do any over edit and try, don't try to make your sun looks weird and as you can tell around the sun there is a circle so you try to recover as much as you can to the center you see so i'm going to repeat from the very beginning i know that i have been repeating but this is the last time i'm going to repeat i promise dodge and color burn hdr they are both same they both recover shadow and highlight. Dodge and Dodge HDR recover shadow. Color burn, color burn HDR recover highlights. They both all give the same result. There is always just a minor difference. In the last video, last part of this video, what I'm going to show you what difference between color burn HDR and color burn because in this particular software you most likely have to recover your shadow and highlights so let's focus on highlight first we're going to turn on the highlight warning as you can tell it's showing the lightest part to the darkest part so what effect it does so if I we go back to the color burn as you can tell you re we reduced a significant amount of highlights from here but dark remained dark around the dark area there is a quite good recovery back they got bigger stronger 50 they got smaller so you can see the effect by these graphics this is a brilliant tool that's why i like it now what difference it it is between the color burn and the color burn hdr we're going to click the color burn hdr right now what it does let's see as you can tell, interestingly enough, there is a big change around the sun. However, here it did not change much. Now, what is going on? 
why there is a significant reduction on the highlights there where the job is supposed to be done but the rest remain the same. Don't they supposed to do the same job? Yes, they do. The color burn starts from the light part all the way to the strongest part of the highlight. They follow that direction. Where color burn HDR, it attacks the strongest part first and move backward. Let me show you again. Take a look. Did you see that? Now we are in 100%. There is no problem with the sun anymore, but they remain same. So the color burn HD are actually attack directly to the strongest part of your highlight. A literally uh, attack for the strongest one, where the color burn at 100%. The effect is not that strong. It's attacking from all the way there to the sun. So again, color burn HDR, color burn they both do the same job but the HDR section they are more lot more stronger than their first three siblings do, do you have to use both of them all of them no every single tools works on different photographs you don't have one solution for all so therefore you have to always try and see what is working for you and make sure you don't for your photo does not look weird such as color burn HDR I turn off my disable warning as you can tell the Sun looks pretty weird I personally would love to have a bit more strong vibe in the Sun but it's not there anymore you have hollow around the Sun you don't want it again each photo for their own you have to always try for yourself and see what is working for you but at least you know what all these tools does. I hope this video has been helpful. I tried my best to explain. I know that these tools can be a bit confusing. This video should help you to have better understanding of this software and these tools. I wish you all the best. I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.